Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. Many of you know that I use Placeit for my mock-ups. You might have seen this video right here that I made recently where I go over all the mock-ups that I've done for social media and it's really, really easy to do on Placeit. Uh, but what you may not know is that Placeit has a lot of other resources for print on demand. I found a few and I wanted to share them with you. Actually, I found six that I think can really help. They actually have way more than six, but these are the six that I'm going to cover in this video. You're going to see how to find way more as well as we go through it. Let's go to Placeit right now and I'll show you step by step on where to find these. Uh, through places it's kind of it's not hidden but it's kind of buried deep in there and so I'm gonna put all the links in the description too so you can find it pretty easy but if you follow me in this video I'm gonna go step by step on how to get it get to it uh, from the place it homepage so let's go to place it right now all right so here we are on the place it homepage place it.net and I'm not signed in I do have an account but I'm not signed in I'm gonna see if we can get to these for free so uh, you can see up here, I'm going to go to designed and then just this free template. So this is number one, free templates. I'm not logged in. We can go here and you can see all these things that you can do for free. So not only mock-ups, but you got templates for, well, this is a mock-up of the video here. You got some free, um, what is this? Like a logo, uh, t-shirt designs as well. So just a lot of free stuff. So don't uh, feel like you have to sign up for these. I think you put in your name and your password, but you don't have to pay anything. Uh, and you can use a lot of this free stuff. Look at this, um, pages and pages of free things. So this is tip number one. You can use a lot of this for print on demand, like the mockups, but you can also use it for social media. So if you're like doing your ads or, or things like that, um, or you can do it for design, like you could um, do this for a t-shirt design for St. Patrick's Day or uh, Easter or whatever, right? So don't miss out on that. Uh, again, to get there, designs, highlights, free templates. That's tip number one or resource number one. So resource number two is up here again, and we're going to go to the learn and blog. And let's see how many things are here. Just a ton of resources. And we're going to break some of these down here. But um, just as a whole, this blog thing, I think a lot of people don't use it. I, I haven't used it a lot. And I think there's a ton of free things right here. You can see free account as well. But uh, a lot of good articles, a lot of cool things here. So again, you can have way more than six resources, but this is a big one, the blog, because it holds a lot of these free resources. So um, resource number two, again, the blog, huge. Like you can go, it goes really deep. And I'm gonna share a few things on this blog that are gonna be resources as well. So resource number three, one of the things I really, really like about this blog is the how-to. So you're gonna go here to t-shirt business. You can see this is a lot about the t-shirt business, uh, which is perfect for print on demand. You also got marketing here and design and all of this, but the third one is gonna go t-shirt business and platform how-tos, how to do a lot of these things. You may have questions if you just started with print on demand. Here are some answers. How to go viral on TikTok if you wanna do ads. How to use Pinterest uh, to make ads. How to do Etsy or uh, Shopify or Etsy, which is better. How to use um, Print4, Printify, right? You got a bunch of these things on here. Um, and so I would go here and you can see, again, three pages worth of stuff. Go through here and learn step-by-step step, uh, how to create custom designs. I'll just show you one of these uh, and then it goes deep again, so more and more stuff. But you can see table of contents. It tells you like how to do, how to add designs to some of these other ones. Uh, Red Bubble is in here, T Public's in here, Threadless in here, right? And just really cool article uh, if you're if you learn this way. If you learn by reading and looking and and like more of the blog kind of style, I think this can be really really helpful. And look, it's just all written here, so you don't have to go scrolling back and forth uh, with a video or stopping and. Uh, you can just read it here. So this is my uh, resource number three, and that is the how-tos. Now this is just one of the how-tos, but there's a lot of the how-tos if you just go here and go the how-tos, right? So back on the blog again, uh, resource number four is one of these. In fact, uh, there's a bunch of these resources. So this is highlighted for a reason because some of the best stuff is right here. And the one I'm gonna go to first is the Placeit Academy. So I'm gonna click on here. You can see it opens in a separate tab. And this is kind of a blog too, but it also goes through some really cool stuff like um, color palettes, complete guide to color schemes, like 
uh, mock-ups and ultimate logo designs and just a ton of research as well as the tools here and how to do it, how to make it look like a lot of the how-tos are right here. So they're all kind of intertwined, but this one uh, I think is really cool because you can see how to make money on Twitch, how to do drop shippings, a guide, t-shirt printing methods, um, complete guide to color schemes. I'm gonna click on this one right here. And it goes by and kind of tells you the color theory, you know, with the color wheel and how to use different colors and why, why they match and all of this stuff kind of going through like, if you need to do like almost like an art class on on color, right? You can see why are color brands important, all of these, and you can skip through like see um, the blue logos and what colors work with blue and what colors work with brown and it's just amazing. So you can see even the colors that give you the hex codes and it just goes really, really deep on stuff. So if you're confused on like, what should I make um, my color scheme with? If you already have a graphic that has a color, you may wanna come in here and you know, like I have green, what goes good with green? Oh, green and white, green and you know, all these colors. So like yellow, blue goes with um, yellow and so on. So a lot of good stuff in here, just lots and lots of examples of what's working and what works well and so on. And so again, pretty, pretty cool uh, resource right here. Resource number five goes along with this one and it's right here in resource and this is colors by place. It's so very similar to the one we just saw but uh, you can see it goes by and goes and goes through all the different colors too. So these are the spring colors. Now that we're in spring, spring color palette, summer color palette, fall color palette, winter color palette. So you can kind of gauge on how to use these colors when you're designing for fall or you're designing for winter. And it goes through and does the color schemes as well or the gradient combinations, just really cool stuff on this one. And you can click on each of these colors, I believe, and it will tell you, you know, what goes well with blue. And here's a blue color palette and just why use certain types of blue, or what colors go with blue. Look at this, <laughs> so many color. And this is just blue, right? This goes well with all the other colors. Like let's do orange, which is my, the one that I like. And look at this, team orange, lots of different things that work with orange and so on. And this is a cool resource. So if you have uh, anything, uh, maybe you're doing a pumpkin design or something with orange, like what kind of colors do you make your text? What kind of colors do you put in the background? There you go. Just that easy. Um, pretty, pretty uh, impressive. And I, I just found this recently, so I wanted to share it with you, but I didn't know Placeit had all these resources here. So this is uh, number five again. It is number five, but it kind of is a lot more, right? Like each one of these could be a resource. Each one of these colors is uh, as a resource, so you got way more than five. So not to keep this, I, I could talk about all these resources over and over again, for, but for the sake of a shorter video, number six is right here in resources again, and that is the t-shirt ideas calendar. Now I have one personally on my Detour website downloads. Uh, you can use that, but this one kind of breaks it down a little bit different, and I'll show you what I mean. So you have the months here, just like I have in mind what to work on each month, but you also have the colors and the motifs and the major holidays by season. Look at that. And when the season starts and so on. And then as you scroll down, you can see some other cool things as well. Uh, and I'm going to scroll back up and you can see, uh, let's go to the month. So January, actually I should have done March, which we're in today, but we'll go to March. So you can see, um, the different colors as well as the different holidays in January. Now these are the holidays in January, so you're gonna wanna go two months ahead, right, on, on what to work on. Um, but you can see create a t-shirt design now and kind of giving you ideas on what, what to use and what they've done. So let's go to uh, the calendar. This is clicking on the calendar again. So we're in March right now. We're gonna wanna design for May, right? So let's click May. And see so here are some of the holidays we should be working on graduation right now. Uh, AAPI, Mental Health Awareness. Now I have uh, some of these, but I don't have all of these on my calendar. So this is a great, great one to try. Mother's Day, don't miss out on that. So you can kind of pick and choose which ones you think are gonna be a lot better, but there's, you know, you someone may not buy a t-shirt for towel day, but it's there. Uh, wine day, more likely. Turtle day, not necessarily for Turtle Day, but you know, um, people love turtles. So a lot of a lot of cool things on here. And uh, 
start making your t-shirt designs now. I think, let's click on there and see what happens. I think it's just gonna do a blank slate. So let's see, actually that didn't work. Let's go back to this one. You know what? It's because I'm on the free account. I didn't sign up. So all of these things that I showed you is absolutely free. Like creating a design on Placeit, I don't think is free, but all the other resources you saw that I didn't sign in. So pretty, pretty cool. So again, a lot more than six. I'm going to close these um, and you can see it, most of it on the blog right here. I didn't even go into marketing. I didn't go into design, like logo design, sports design. How do you do these? Um, you know, guides, inspo, like, like way more than six, right? Just a ton of things. So don't miss out on the blog. And that's just one of them. So uh, we go back to um, place it itself, like not the blog. We also had, that was just under learn blog, but we have design, which is I think part of the blog we saw at marketing, um, place it 101, you know, ton of different things, how to use templates, how to use um, place it uh, and tools here. I didn't even go into that. Um, you got all these other tools, which I may need to make a video for. If you, if you want a video for any one of these, let me know in the comments, which ones do you want to see me do uh, as a video? But again, mocks up is the thing that they're most known for, but they have way more things on here for print on demand. Uh, within the blog and which in, within all these other things. So hopefully this was really helpful for you, this video. As you can see, Placeit is pretty big, pretty deep, and a lot of things for free. I didn't even have to sign in to an account. Now there is a lot more things uh, when you are a subscriber, like you can do videos and a lot more mockups, but when you're just starting out, if you need to learn some of these things and how to use it and um, color theory and design and all of that thing, place it has a lot of those things. So don't miss out on that. Um, it can really help you um, push your print on demand just a little further if you're if you're unsure if you're just starting or if you don't know any of those things and want to learn those, you can learn a lot of things for free on Placeit. Now I have another Placeit video here. I'll put it right here. This is the one that I talked about on my mockups. So if you haven't seen that and you want to use Placeit for mockups on social media, take a look at that one. Thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.